What is up everyone? It is Ascended Dreams bursting onto the scene with guidance to infinite love and access to positive energy. What's going down everybody? <laughs> we out here at the park today. Had to switch up the atmosphere a little bit. You know, just keep things fresh for you guys. So how's everybody doing? We got kids playing at the park over there. We got yogis and stuff over here. Got the sun up here. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. We are excited to be out here in nature once again and just connecting with you all. So before I jump off into the video, I just want to say thank you. Super thank you to everybody who helped me reach 100 subscribers. Woo! <laughs> it's an incredible feat. Um, before I started this YouTube journey, I had no idea that there would be 100 unique individuals connecting to and resonating with these messages. So if you happen to be one of them, thank you so, so much. And yeah, I look forward to continuing to growing with you and evolving and ascending with you on this journey. So what's up guys I'm gonna jump off into the title of the video today and the title of the video is going to be sometimes you have to make break up to wake up right <laughs> so some of you guys are like what why would I have to break up to wake up ascended this makes no sense well travelers back in 2018 I actually had to break up to wake up if you will right so guys I had fallen deeply in love with an individual who wasn't actually capable of reciprocating the love that I was offering and giving free-flowingly, right? And when our relationship ended, I found myself in a really, really dark, dark time, if you will. And if you watched any of my previous videos, Travelers, and you probably have heard me touch on this quite a bit, actually, and uh, I just wanted to come here to tell you guys how much this actually factored in to me growing and evolving as an individual here on Earth Plane. We got lots of random chaotic noises, guys. Just work with me. <laughs> So, I had went through, after this breakup, what I would call a dark night of the soul, if you will, right? And I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with this if you've clicked on this video. However, I just didn't know how to navigate whatever negative dark feelings that I was encapsulating. I was, you know, beating myself up, ultimately. I was down on myself about it, thinking, you know, how could I be better? What could I do to keep this person connected to me, right? But little did I know, I was actually fighting myself, travelers. I was actually fighting myself because ultimately the universe was trying to remove this individual so that I could begin to dive into who I am as an individual. I could begin to discover who I am as an individual, right? <laughs> Bird up there. It's awesome. Uh, but yeah, so I had to break up with this individual to wake up to the person that I truly was, travelers, okay? So if you are undergoing a negative relationship right now, if you're experiencing toxicity in your relationship, this might be a weird approach or a weird stance, but it is okay. It is okay to be going through this because ultimately, sometimes we have to break up to wake up to the idea that the person you were in love with is simply just a mirror simply just a reflection okay simply a guide back to your inner space your inner home because ultimately guys no one or nothing is separated from us okay nothing is separate from your heart center so guys i was super mad i was like man how could you break my heart like this is crazy but little did i know she wasn't breaking my heart travelers she was teaching me she was guiding me if you will and allowing for me to discover myself, giving me time and space to become my own individual so that I could show up authentically in one of my future relationships, right? Okay? So it can be very hard to see it that way when you're stuck in victim mentality, okay? And you could begin to associate yourself as a victim, somebody who has been beat down, somebody who has been taken from. Travelers, you are not the victim. You are empowered. You are a powerful multidimensional being experiencing consciousness on many levels that don't exist just here on third dimension, okay? So, with that being said, guys, I had to be honest with myself. I had to sit with myself and really come to peace with the idea that I am a whole being. I am pure, and the validation that I was seeking in my relationship was the validation that I needed to be giving to myself every day, right? Ooh! One more time for the haters in the way, way back, right? So the validation that I was seeking 
in my external relationships, in my relationship with my significant other was the validation that I was supposed to be feeding myself, okay? So if you're guilty of this, guys, it is all right. Be easy on yourself and be patient because love is free-flowing, right? You cannot protect yourself from heartbreak because ultimately, guys, heartbreak is a natural part of the process. Heartbreak is there to act as a guide, to act as a catalyst to your own inner healing, to your higher self, if you will, okay? So, also, guys, you may be seeing people who are stuck and trapped in toxic relationships and they are ultimately breaking up to make up, right? You see people just breaking up to just go back and make up with their partner the next day. And that's okay, travelers. I have been guilty of this too in the past. But instead of breaking up to make up with your partner, it's oftentimes that we actually need to break up to make up for lost time that we spent chasing the idea of what somebody wanted us to be. Ooh, what? One more time for those haters in the buck. <laughs> so, sometimes instead of breaking up to make up with your significant other, it is actually then time for you to break up to make up for lost time that you spent chasing the idea of what somebody expected you to be, right? So this is crucial. This is imperative here, guys, because ultimately, we are our own light. We must break up to wake up to the idea that we are our own light, that we need nothing else in this universe to keep us satisfied, to keep us happy, to keep us creative, to keep us peaceful ultimately, right? We have this ability to become codependent beings based on attaching our values to these relationships when these relationships are really here to help you ascend, okay? These relationships are never here for you to feel less than, to not feel worthy, to feel depleted, right? So guys, oftentimes we must break up to wake up in fifth dimensional consciousness, right? Because not everybody is willing to do the work and put themselves in position to grow and evolve into this new earth, to grow into this new level of consciousness where love is free flowing, right? So guys, sometimes you must break up to wake up in 5D, okay? Seriously. And... What this means is that love in 5D is free flowing, that you have the ability to give all the love that you're seeking from everywhere else right back to yourself, okay? So you're then able to realize in 5D that all love is the same. The love that you are experiencing in your relationship is the love that you actually exist deep, deep inside of you and that you are manifesting your flame or your soulmate as a reflection of how deeply and truly you love yourself, okay? So guys, this might be super hard to wrap your head around at the moment if you're knee deep in it, but I've been through it, okay? Seriously, like everybody's been through it. I've been through multiple dark nights of the soul and everybody's just at different levels in which they experience this traumatic heartbreak, which is exactly what it is, traumatic, because ultimately if we've never experienced this and we fall head over heels in love with somebody and they break our heart, our heart is actually then susceptible to collapse. Our heart chakra can then collapse and you could then begin to experience dark nights of the souls, okay? So, guys, if you are breaking up to wake up, you are on the path to ascension and you are on the path to self-liberation and love, infinite love, okay? So stay righteous on this path. Stay furious in pursuit of your ascension and your higher vibration because Somebody's going to be there to try and take it from you. That's just how it is in this life, man. I can't sugarcoat it with you guys or gals if you're experiencing this. It's just going to be. It's just one of those things that we all have to experience. And you are not alone, okay? Don't ever feel like you are less than or not worthy because of somebody else's opinion or somebody else's perception of who you are. You are powerful, travelers, and you are worthy of love no matter what it is that you're experiencing or no matter what it is your condition is in this current moment, okay? <laughs> so that has been the video, guys. Oh, man, it's just a beautiful day. I'm so excited to be out here and connecting with you all. Um, there's going to be a lot more new content soon to come. I'm going to be doing days in the life of type videos and doing diet videos and just showing you guys kind of what I've been eating and 
foods that you can jump into immediately that will help you just to, you know, switch up the curve a little bit, switch up your flow and uh, do things a little different because uh, that's ultimately what it's about. It's experimenting. <laughs> so guys, once again, thank you all so, so much for connecting to this video. If you happen to resonate with these messages, feel free to like, share and subscribe and do all that fun stuff. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys real, real soon. And yep, you know what it is, man. The word is love. Peace.